If you ask the Father anything in my name, he will give it you. For the Father himself loveth you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. A few days ago, as I was going through some of the paperwork on Bishop Dolan's desk, I came across a little sticky note upon which was written a Latin quotation. He often did this. He would make his morning meditation before coming over to church, and then he would, on a sticky note, he would just write what we call a spiritual nosegay, a little phrase or something he learned from that meditation. He'd write it on the paper, and then he would place it somewhere where he would see it frequently throughout the day. Vide omnia, dissimula multa, corrige pauca. See everything, overlook much, correct a little. And as I pondered those words, I really realized that's exactly how Bishop Dolan treated his priests. He never was overbearing, correcting every little fault that he saw in us, because he knew that even the priest has a fallen human nature, just as everyone else. Still, he was not lax in his duty as a spiritual father to his priests either. He would, from time to time, offer us advice, little tips, and even correction when necessary, but it was always rather to correct us rather than to punish, to make us better ourselves rather than to beat us down. The one thing that Bishop Dolan always insisted upon for his clergy was to be prayerful, especially to attend the public prayers and devotions of the church, even when they are not obligatory. And he was, of course, as you know, the first to set the example. He if you remember, he himself attended at least one extra Mass every day that he could. He sang Vespers daily with his priests. This was something he worked on since the beginning of his apostolate, something he truly desired, is to have not only the priests, but the people come back in the evening for Vespers devotion. But most of all, he insisted that the public worship of Almighty God should be not only carried out, but carried out with perfection, always according to the rubrics. And in this point, he was firm, which is the reason why we have such excellent servers who are well prepared for any ceremony. You've witnessed that the last Three weeks. Take great care of the worship of God, he, he once told me, and God will always take care of you. And so it has always been here at St. Gertrude's. You know better than I do, some of you, that we've been through some rough times over the years, but that the good God has always seen us through. I remember just a little bit over a decade ago when we were having really serious financial problems. We never hit the panic button. We instead turned to prayer. One of the parishioners gave us that mother of good counsel picture that's hanging there before St. Joseph's altar. It's always got a, a candle lighted before it. He gave us this devotion and said, she will take care of all of your problems. She is our mother after all. So Bishop Dolan started the 12 Sundays of Good Counsel and we prayed publicly to Our Lady. And sure enough, 
within just a short amount of time, all of our financial worries were taken care of. I think of the last two years with the scandemic and all of the lockdowns. These things, humanly speaking, should have closed the door to our church. We should have lost many a parishioner. But I think it's because we always prayed the public rosary in procession to Our Lady of Fatima from May to October every year. And so during this, this communist persecution, Our Lady of Fatima was the one who took care. And not only did we not lose a lot of parishioners or have to close our church down, but our numbers grew in the face of all of them. And I think most recently of what, what has happened these last three weeks, and I remember that he always was a great promoter of the Holy Face devotion. Some people do not believe in it, but he always, Bishop Dolan always promoted it. And do you know what the promise is to those who honor our Lord's Holy Face? The promise is, I will settle all the affairs of your household. Well, look at the last three weeks, what has happened since the death of our beloved bishop, all the affairs of this household were cared for. Not only cared for, but it was almost a mini miracle how quickly and how well everything has turned out. We have now four new priests and a new bishop that our Lord has provided. You see how public prayer has helped us. But I must say a, a word of thanks, too, to all of you that helped and supported in all of your different ways. But let's all remember to thank and to pray for Bishop De Silva. He came all the way from Brazil, leaving behind all the needs of his missions throughout Mexico and Brazil, South America, Canada, to come and take care of our problems. And he said before he arrived that he would stay for as long as we needed to get things taken care of. And during this time also, God sent us many a brother priest to encourage us, to support us in everything that we've done the last three weeks, to pray for us. Bishop Pivarunas comes to mind. Many of his priests. Father Thielen, who many of you know. And of course, Father Ercole, who truly was, in many ways that you will never know, a godsend during this time. Take care to worship God, and God take care of you. Now, why do I say all this? Well, this week is a week of intense public prayer. As if things haven't been intense enough these last three weeks. Now, Holy Mother Church invites us, come back to church to pray, to take part in the public worship of God. Our Lord starts today in the Gospel, inviting us, saying that if you ask the Father anything in my name, he will give it to you. And then he goes on to say, because the Father loves you. What, what more motivation do we need than our Lord's own words? We have this week the Rogation Days on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. The Litany of Saints will be chanted. We invoke the whole heavenly court. Think of that. Every saint that there is, we ask his intercession in a public procession. And then we end the week of prayer with Ascension Thursday, a holy day of obligation. The idea is this, that we are asked by Holy Mother Church to come together, to meet 
here in prayer, for we have many intentions, and we gather up all of our intentions in public, all of our thanksgivings, our petitions, our needs, everything, and we place them in this box, so to speak, and we then give this box to our Lord before he ascends into heaven to his Father. And when he gets into heaven, he lays this box of all of our needs, all of our intentions, before the throne of God. That's the idea of this week of prayer. So, we have much to be grateful for. We have many things to ask our Lord. Come to church. Make the time, somehow, to make it to an extra Mass during this week. Because remember those words of Bishop Dolan, if we take care to worship God, then God will in turn take care of you. God bless you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen.